All right, I'm going to show you two ways to adjust opacity within DaVinci Resolve. And unlike most YouTube videos, I'm going to try to do it reasonably quick. So I'm in the edit page, and you can see I've got this video too here, which is us talking. And then underneath it, I've got this other uh, background video that I want to use. So if you want to adjust the opacity for the overall layer, what you need to do is in your inspector, if you don't have it up, just click inspector. And then you want to go scroll down till you see an option for composite. Within composite, you can select opacity and just drop it. So you can see what's happening is it's dropping the overall opacity for that top layer, which is usually what people will want. But with mine, what I want is I actually only want the opacity to go away where it's black because I want to have that uh, come through. So you can do that as well, but you need to go to the color page. A lot of people might think it's the fusion page, but no, the color page. So within the color page, up to the right here, you're going to want to add. So just within here, right click and you want to add this alpha output. Select that and you'll see we got a blue dot and you click with the black box and you're going to drag it to the blue dot. And once that connection's good, you go down here. So you've got all of these options here and you want this one here, the middle one, window. And then you can just select the type that you want to use. So for example, in my case, I'm going to grab this top one, click on it, and you see what happened there? From there, I can grab the corners and I can pull it out to where I want. And you notice that it also automatically adds a bit of feathering. So if you click on this little red bit, and pull it out, it'll add more feather. If you push it in, it'll add less feather. So I don't want feather on mine, and I'm just gonna move it to where I want mine to be. And that's pretty much it. So um, if I go back to edit, you can now see what I have is what I wanted, which was this kind of cool color around the edges here and the actual top video showing through. So that's pretty much it. You can play with it a little bit more if you want. Um, you can inverse it if you want so that that way uh, one side's being shown and the other's not. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time because I just uh, scrolled through YouTube and I saw like, you know, 10 and 15 minute long videos showing how to do this. And as you can see, it's, you know, pretty quick and easy to do. All right, have a good one.